Mar, Marchand, driven to win, Western Terror, Jacobs Western, Georgia Pacific, Peyote, Hawaiian Fury on the outside. And there they go for the first elimination. The first three qualify for the final. They're off then, pacing Marchand's first out of the gate. Inside you rock between horses, my pan Mar. Georgia Pacific, four wide. End of the turn they go, driven to win, racing fifth. Western Terror, sixth, racing seventh. Around the turn, that's... Jacobs of Western, racing a peyote, treading the field, following the break, Hawaiian Fury, as they race over to the first quarter mark, 26 and 2, he enters the lane first time, up on the outside, Georgia Pacific works his way to the front for Brian Sears, Mark Chan will take the two-hole trip, you rock third, here comes my Pan Mar, first up on the outside, followed by Driven to Win, Western Terror to the outside, Jacobs of Western, Turn. The end of the turn they go, Peyote, we got four in, four out, going to the halfway point, halfway home in 55, 28 and 3, down the back side, on top of the field on the outside, grabbing the lead, My Pan Mar, Georgia Pacific is second and will fight back, racing on the outside, driven to win, on the inside, Marchand, Western Terror fifth, You Rock pacing six, Jacobs Western seven. Racing eight, Peyote going to the three quarters. Georgia Pacific is spot back and opens up. Three quarters, one, 22 and two. 27 and two, backside, and Georgia Pacific leads them by three. Marchand second, closing on the outside, Western Terror. Down the stretch they come. Georgia Pacific driven to win, closing on the outside. Georgia Pacific driven to win, coming at him, but it's going to be Georgia Pacific, 150, flat, a world's record, three-year-old Colt Pacers on the 5-8 mile track. Wow, wow. <laughs> That's can... Track record and a world's record, 150. Identical halves of 55 with a final quarter, 27 and 3. The hometown horse has won the first elimination of the Adios. And a large crowd make their way trackside. Georgia Pacific is owned by Randy Bendis, Susan Costelli, John Campbell, William Varney, Randy Bendis trains, Brian Sears, the driver. Imagine racing fans, that's five wins this year for Georgia Pacific, 150 or faster. There's a lot more racing today. Trackside. Senator Barry Stout, along with Mike Janot, Vice President of MEC Pennsylvania Racing, with the presentation. And Susan Costello, John Campbell, Randy Bendis, William Varney, and Brian Sears. George Georgia. Pacific! The official ninth race price is the winner. Oh, to my immediate right, to Brian Sears winning driver, and of course Randy Bendis, who we talked to a few minutes ago. First of all, Brian, uh, that was a breathtaking move to get to the lead. Yeah, um, you know, I, he, he was leaving out of there pretty hard, but I was impressed. And even though we were going 26 and 2, I kind of let him, still let him ride up there. And, um, you know, the way track's been setting up, not too many horses have uh, won, won on the front today, but uh, he raced super, and I was real happy with him. Luke Ouellette came up as they went down the backside. Actually, had about a half length on you, but it looked like your horse just uh, sort of took care of things from there on. Yeah, my horse needed, uh, the, you know, a breather after that first quarter, but, um, you know, I wasn't going to let him, let him go by if I could help it. I just wanted to let him rest as long as I could. And, um, he responded.
classically, they say, don't set world records in the eliminations. They'll leave something in the tank. But he really looked, uh, you know, he was standing here in the winner's circle very calmly among those 2,000 people. Uh, he looks like he's got something left. Yeah, he's a classy horse. He's got a lot of smarts about him, and um, he should be all right. Let me uh, sneak Randy Bennis in here for a couple of quick questions. Randy, uh, a big mile, 152, a world record here. Uh, as we said, uh, that's generally not, you want to do that in the final, but he really looks like he wants another heat. Yeah, I think he'll be okay. I really do. I, he's, he's just as good as he gets right now, and, uh, you know, it looked like he did it kind of within himself as well, as much as that can be in a world record. But I'm pretty confident he can come back and, and race sharp. I'm sure he will. Randy Bennis and Brian Sears, a world record in the very first heat of what could prove to be for the finest heat you will ever see in the Adios.